Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is a very exciting day because look what finally showed up. We have the new Pat McGrath bronzer. If you've been watching me for the last few weeks, you've heard me talk about over and over. I ordered this quite a while ago and I thought it was lost, but it just took a long time to get here. So we have that, and then we also have the new Divine Bronze Venusian Sunrise Quad. This I did show in my Sephora sale haul. So we're gonna try those two things out for the first time today, and then I figured I would just do like a full face of Pat McGrath. I don't have everything from the line, but I have a lot of things. So this is also new to me. I got this during the Sephora sale the uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. We have the concealer, um, some blushes, lip products. So we're just gonna do a full face of Pat McGrath using the things that I have. And if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's get started. All right, let's get into it. I did already apply some color corrector under my eyes. So I used this one from Pixie. And now we're gonna go in with the foundation. So I've used this once in a video and then once just when I wasn't filming. But this is the shade light number five. And today I'm gonna do it with no primer. When I did it in the previous video, I used a pretty mattifying primer. I used that Hourglass Vanish primer and um, it definitely really mattified this foundation a lot. So I wanna use it today just with my normal skincare underneath. I'm just gonna use this because this is the brush I have sitting here. This is the Sigma F80. This one is blue because it was um, part of the Princess or the Cinderella collection they did last year. So I'm just pressing this into the skin. Honestly, I think this might be the most thin and lightweight foundation I own, I want to say. I have some thin ones, but I don't know. This one has got to be close to the thinnest. So I am just really pressing this in. I wanna see how much coverage I can get from this. I think it's supposed to be like a lighter medium coverage at the most, but I'm gonna get a little bit more from what's on the back of my hand. One nice thing about this brush, I don't use this brush that often, but because it's the like flat top style brush, you can really get the most coverage from your products. I keep feeling, yeah, there's a hair on this brush. It's probably a cat hair. I keep getting this feeling that I have a hair on my face. You ever have days like that where you just constantly feel like you have a hair on your face? That's how I feel today, and I think it's a cat hair. Okay, so I'm actually really liking the look of this foundation the most that I've liked it since I've tried it today. I liked it every time, but I love it today because it doesn't look super glowy or super matte. It's just kind of my skin, but just a little bit better. So happy with that, but I do wanna go in with the concealer. Now I actually did end up exchanging my concealer. So in my first video, if you saw that, where I tried a bunch of new makeup from the Sephora sale. I got this concealer, but it was in the shade L6. And I used that a few times. I, I just wasn't crazy about the color of that one for me. So I exchanged it for a different shade. So this is L4, and we're gonna try this one out. I have not tried this yet, so I don't know um, how this will be. I think they described this as light with peach undertones, I wanna say, but honestly looking at it now, it still looks kinda of yellow in the bottle, but we're gonna try it. Yeah, I mean, it looks yellow. Gosh, that looks even more yellow than the first color. And I thought the first color looks <laughs> yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit. Just right here. Yeah, does that look yellow to you or is it just me? I feel like it looks extremely yellow. Okay, 
I am gonna blend this in with the 110 from BK Beauty. Okay, yeah, not a fan of this color concealer at all. I just went back over it under my eyes with my sponge, trying to pick up a little bit of it. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Shiseido concealer because it's not um, not super yellow. And I'm gonna try to add a little bit of this on over it because I just, that's too yellow for me. I don't know, does Pat McGrath not make any concealer shades that are like true neutral? Or even like a pinky tone at all? I don't know, but I'm not not loving the shade. And it's a shame because I actually like this concealer. It gives great coverage, but I don't know what the deal is with the shades. We're gonna move on. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with a little bit of powder and then we will move on to what I've been the most excited about, which is bronzer. Let's move on to the bronzer. I've been waiting for this. I ordered mine from the Pat McGrath website because the shade that I personally really wanted was uh, not sold on Sephora, so Nude Honey. So I believe this is the second to lightest shade, and I cannot wait to try this. I've seen a few reviews on it. I haven't watched a ton of them, so this is what it looks like. I did swatch these bronzers already when I was in Sephora for the Sephora sale and the formula really excited me. So that is Nude Honey. It just feels very, very velvety, smooth, matte. I cleaned this brush, so we'll use this. This is the Refer number five brush. So I don't know if a synthetic brush would be better with this or maybe it doesn't matter, I don't know. So we're gonna try this one first. I'm getting it on the brush and kind of tapping it off on the palm of my hand because I don't really know how pigmented this is. Ooh, okay. The reason I wanted this shade was the lightest shade I saw in store and it was pretty, but I don't know. I felt like it was almost too light for my skin tone. And then the one up from this one, I think is Bronze Dawn. And that one I probably could have gotten away with, but I felt like it was a little too warm for me for most of the time. So that's why I wanted Nude Honey. But of course, Nude Honey was not one of the shades they had on Sephora. So it definitely picked up really well with this brush. Love the color. I feel like it still has a little bit of warmth to it, but like not to the point where it's orange. And it also has a little bit of a cool tone to it as well. So I guess um, I would say this is a more neutral color. Definitely pretty pigmented. My hair is freshly washed and it's like driving me nuts today because <laughs> it just keeps falling down. I love the color. I think I'm glad I waited on this one just for the color on its own. I'm trying to think of what this reminds me of. Almost kind of reminds me of the House Labs bronzers, but this one is more, it's a matte bronzer. The House Labs is, it's kind of a satiny finish. It's not like a super glowy, dewy, shimmery bronzer, but it's not matte either. It's kind of right in between. But the application of the two are kind of reminding me of each other. Pretty, very easy to blend, I would say. Like I'm not having trouble getting it to blend out whatsoever, which I like. What do you guys think? If you have this bronzer already, let me know what you think. I love the tone. I love that it's more neutral. It's kind of hard to find a neutral bronzer sometimes. This one I would say definitely leans pretty neutral. So let's look up close though. Yeah, it looks really nice on my skin. Almost looks a little bit blurring 
on my skin. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it's sitting really nicely on my skin. And I love the color. All right. Yay. Finally, we got the very highly anticipated bronzer. All right. I have a few Pat McGrath blushes. These um, I've had with the exception of this one. This I got recently at Marshall's. This was, I think, the holiday collection from this past year in uh, the blush, obviously. I also found the highlight from this collection, um, but I haven't used the blush yet. This is Nude Venus number two. So it's kind of, mm, kind of a peachy, well, I guess it's more of a mauve pink, honestly. But I also have just Nude Venus, the original one. Yeah, so I guess Nude Venus is a little bit peachier, not as cool toned. Nude Venus 2 is more cool toned. So I have those. And then I also have one of these, the Split Pan. I actually love this one, but does she make these anymore, these Split Pans? I know they're not on Sephora. This is the Aphrodite Amour shade. It's like a light, very bright pink, and then more of a rosy mauve mixed together. But I feel like I want to use one of these two. I think I might just go for Nude Venus. This one, yeah, kind of feeling this one today. I'm going to use the Smashbox uh, angled cheek brush or angled blush brush. Love this color. This is a great color because it's pretty neutral, so it kind of goes with everything. I actually really want the color Divine Rose in her blushes. I was going to buy it during the Sephora sale, but um, that shade has been out of stock on Sephora for quite a while. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I do really like this one as well in Nude Venus. Okay, I'm going to do my brows off camera. We'll come back and we will do the eyes with the new eyeshadow quad. Let's move into the eyes. So this is the new Divine Bronze Luxe Quad in Venusian Sunrise. So I mentioned in my haul where I showed this palette, I do not have a ton of Pat McGrath eyeshadow. I have one Mothership palette, the Moonlit Seduction palette. And I, I don't want to say I don't like the palette. I think it's a beautiful palette. I have not fallen in love with Pat McGrath matte eyeshadows. I think her, obviously her special shades are beautiful, amazing, not like anything else. Her metallics are pretty. The mattes, in my experience, just with Moonlit Seduction, I did not find to be the easiest to work with, but I wanted to give it another chance. So that is what we are gonna be doing today with this quad. I really just, I hope that I love this because if I'm going to like a Pat McGrath palette, this is it for me because I love neutrals and we have four very neutral, very Blair type shades. Okay, so I'm first going to go into the matte brown. It's kind of a, I would say it's a pretty neutral brown, maybe a little bit on the peachy side. But I'm going to apply this on the outer corner and just kind of bring it over into the crease. Okay, so this shade is blending and applying really easy. No issues here. I want to say in my Moonlit Seduction palette. There's one shade in there. I don't know the name of it, but it's like a deeper purple. That was the one that I had a little bit of issue blending, if I remember correctly. I don't know. We'll see with the darker purpley brown in here. Kind of pulling this out a little bit too. So this is very different for me, this type of eyeshadow. This is very smooth and um, very pigmented, so very different from the other eyeshadows I've been very into lately, like 
the Seurat shadows, the Rare Beauty shadows. This is like a totally different thing, so. But that shade is pretty. I'm gonna go into this metallic light gold and I'm gonna apply this. Again, I don't really remember if I like pat metallic shades with my finger or a brush, but I'm just gonna take this brush. Ooh, so that actually applies really well with a brush. I like that. This is a um, Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes number 11 brush that I'm using. Oh yeah, so this is applying pretty well with a brush. I feel like this type of shadow is kind of hard with a brush sometimes, but love that. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch to a really small brush. This is the A504 from BK Beauty. And we're gonna go into the dark I want to say it's a brown, but it almost has like a little bit of a purpley undertone to it, like a really deep plum brown. And I'm going to apply this like I normally do in the outer corner, but I'm just kind of keeping it right in this area. Just taking the first brush we used now and just kind of lightly going over it just to blend the edges just a little bit. Yeah, I feel like the shade in my other Pat McGrath palette that I had issues with was kind of similar to this, but more of a true purple. But this, all of these shades so far are applying really well. Going in with a little bit more of that shade on this eye. Cause I feel like I got um, more over here. Okay, yeah, so that looks really good. Really like it, very blendable. Yeah, love that. Honestly, you don't really need this beautiful bronze shade at this point, but we have to use it because we have to. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use that same spectrum brush, but I don't remember. I think I need to spray this to use these shades. Hold on. Maybe I don't need to spray the brush. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm going to take the brush again and go into this beautiful PC gold. It's just a beautiful color. So I'm actually going to get some on the brush first. And then I'm going to spray the brush. I don't really remember with my other palette if I did this or not. But I really don't want to get a ton of fallout. So. Wow, that shade is beautiful. Yeah, that is stunning. I mean, this eye look, this is obviously not like an everyday look. But this is the kind of thing that if I'm going to do like a more glammy type look. This is exactly what I like. So I'm gonna do the other eye. It's kind of funny too, cause I feel like when this collection was released, um, people were excited about the bronzers for sure, but this little quad, I feel like a lot of people were like, it's boring, it's neutral. We wanna see something different. And I'm over here like, yes a neutral four pan palette. This is like right up my alley. So I guess I'm in the minority there, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is stunning. I love it. I'm gonna take the uh, brown shade with a small brush, uh, the 210 from BK Beauty. And I'm gonna take this pretty much all along my lower lash line like really lightly because I don't want a ton of pigment there. And then I'm gonna use the same brush and take a little bit of the darker plummy brown 
And I'm just putting like the smallest bit of this in the very outer corner, like barely any at all. I'm gonna go into the uh, metallic shade we put on the lid. And I'm just putting that in the inner corner. And I think that's it for the eyes, you guys. What do you think? I love this. I have no complaints. I think I was able to blend these very well. I don't know, maybe with the other palette, I don't know if it was my primer or maybe I just didn't give it enough time to really blend it well. I don't know, but I love this. No complaints. So I am going to go ahead and do some mascara and I'll come back and we'll finish up with the lips. Okay, last we have the lips, and these are not new things, but I figured I would just show you quickly. So I have three of the Pat McGrath lip liners. If you've been around, you probably know my absolute favorite is Structure. But I also have Contour and Done Undone. So Structure, Contour, and Done Undone. And I'm gonna go in with Structure. Maybe I'll actually take Done Undone and shade the corners. And then we'll take Blush Fantasy on top. Don't really have a Pat McGrath lipstick. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. I am really happy with this. I love the two new products, honestly. The quad I am very excited about. I was not disappointed by this. I had no issues with it. If you're a neutrals girl like me and you wanna dip your toes into Pat McGrath, but you don't need a huge mothership palette with some shades that maybe you won't use, this is beautiful, love it. This is such a perfect glam neutral look. For me. So I am really happy with the quad. And as far as the bronzer goes, I really enjoyed this. I'm really happy that I waited and got the color that I wanted. I think Nude Venus, if you're around my skin tone, is a really nice neutral shade. I've seen a few things that say it leans more cool toned. I don't think it's cool toned. I think it's truly a neutral shade, which is exactly what I like in bronzer. It can be kind of hard to find sometimes, but I feel like you get a little bit of warmth and a little bit of a cooler tone all in one in this, and I really enjoy it. The formula is really nice, very easy to apply, not patchy or difficult to blend at all. So I'm very happy with these two new purchases from Pat McGrath. Hope this was enjoyable for you. I know I've been talking about doing this video for quite a while and finally got around to it. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you.